It is January the 9th, 2021. This is the Menorcan Mullet Report from the Golden Ray Rec site. Uh, made it back out to the site today. This is the first time we've been out since the uh, removal of the stern section. And on the way out there, we did catch what appeared to be the dive boat alongside the uh, upcoming cut on the stern. Uh, I guess those guys are down um, doing uh, the drilling that they were uh, doing on the uh, on the stern section. I guess all those efforts really seem to pay off uh, because the actual cut time was was down to uh, uh, a fraction of what it was uh, with the uh, original cut off the bow. And hopefully that will continue. And maybe even this process of preparing the, the golden ray for this for these uh, cuts with the chain uh, will get will get faster as they uh, become more familiar and are uh, able to find some some uh, tricks of the trade, if you will, to speed up the operation. We certainly hope that's the case. But we did catch a few things today while we were out on the uh, on the site and kind of looking around. First of all, it was just, it was a it was a cool day. About 40, 43, 42 degrees out this afternoon when we were out with a very strong uh, west-northwesterly wind, which usually means there's going to be some more cooler uh, air coming in. A pretty raw day to be out on the boat, especially uh, working out on the water. Uh, hats off to the responders that are out getting the job done again um, in an effort to get the Golden Ray really out of here. It's, uh, time is of the essence now because we know we've got this thing opened up uh, both ends of it and it, it, there's just no way that's that's a good situation to have even with the environmental barrier in place to have have her opened up on both ends with the, the kind of tide and current that we have uh, moving around in the St. Simon Sound. Now that said a uh, couple things we noticed today. We did get our first view of that massive power plant uh, that makes up the uh, the main propulsion engine unit for the Golden Ray, and that was visible uh, today from the uh, from our visit, at least the uh, back end of the engine. Um, we can see it here, and we're going to highlight the actual engine compartment so you can really get a look at the the size of this uh, uh, propulsion unit. And where we can see now that that, that engine will be lifted with the, uh, with the cut that, that comes up on the stern. Again, not sure if they're going back to the bow or uh, staying here at the stern, but we, we assume that'll happen pretty soon. Now here we noticed that the east block was in place uh, but the west block is gone. It's missing. The barge was out and the cables were gone. So we're assuming they are maybe replacing the cables on this west side uh, block system for the cutting system. Um, maybe doing some maintenance on the blocks, but they did have that barge out along that west side uh, uh, barge of the VB 10,000. Um, doing that maintenance work. We can see the guys and some of the equipment on that barge here in this shot of uh, making whatever changes, modifications, maintenance that has to be done uh, following that cut uh, of the stern section. You can kind of see just how rough it was today. And we got this shot right here, just looking into the ship, just to remind folks uh, you can see through this thing now, and it is open. Uh, so hopefully um, this operation will continue to gain speed and move along quick. Well, hey, that's the report for today, short and sweet. we we'll ask you that if you haven't subscribed yet, to go ahead and do so. I'd love to see some comments. Um, that, that kind of keeps us going and motivated. And most of all, I want you guys to stay safe out there.